We've got baby fever over here in the Mama Natural household, and we're doing something about it. It's episode seven of In Real Life. This episode is sponsored by Vital Proteins. Revitalize your hair, skin, nails, and pregnancy with Vital Proteins. We recently took our first group of mamas through the Mama Natural Birth Course, and now we are at the best part of it because we're hearing these birth stories and seeing these pictures of the most adorable babies, and it really has me craving, you know, just I have that baby fever, and it really takes me back to the time when I was pregnant. And actually, with my first pregnancy, that's really what I've been thinking about because it was all so new. And that was about five years ago, and I remember I got that positive, you know, test and it just started this journey. And I, that's really when I started YouTube because I was craving community. I wanted to bond with other pregnant moms. Um, and I knew I wanted to go natural and I knew that that was gonna be really hard. And so I knew I needed support and a community. And so it was so fun to do my little my week to week updates and also check out all the other mamas week to week updates. And we would just support each other, encourage each other. And I loved seeing the moms that were further along because then it kind of kept me going and then of course, when they gave birth, it was just like, bam, 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 all these birth stories in my feed and just, you know, seeing the stories. And it was just, it got me so motivated, so committed, and it was really important in my journey. So if any of you have been watching since those early Griffin pregnancy vlogs, I just want to say thank you, old friend. God bless you. You've been with us for a really long journey. Uh, so that YouTube community was huge when I was pregnant. It really gave me strength, encouragement, and just courage really that I could walk through this journey and have a natural childbirth. And so, you know, and I actually can see that in the Mama Natural Birth Course, they have private Facebook groups where they can connect and talk and encourage each other. But I knew I wanted to do something more, something that goes beyond the birth course, something that's free and available for any mom who wants to have a natural childbirth. And so we've actually created a new Instagram account called Mama Natural Birth. I'll have a link to it in the video description below. So be sure to follow us if you are pregnant, if you wanna get pregnant, if you wanna have a natural childbirth, um, or if you're just a birth junkie and love to see just pictures of this kind of stuff. That's what I love to do myself. Uh, and let me just tell you the story about how I got this idea. Uh, I remember when I was really thinking about, okay, I wanna start working out more, doing the Pilates, doing the weights. This is something I resist, as you saw from last week's IRL. And I remember reading a blog post talking about if you want to change, you need to surround yourself with people who kind of have what you want. So I thought about that, I'm like, yeah, I should look and try to find other blogs or other people that are doing this, you know, who are really committed to working out almost daily. So I went onto Instagram, because I love that um, just platform, and started looking for women who are into fitness, working out, and somehow I stumbled upon the Tone It Up community. They are huge. It's kind of led by these two women, Katrina and Karina, and they're big into working out, you know, and just eating well and really making it a lifestyle of just being fit, you know? So I started following all these women and, you know, they all was hashtag, so it was really easy to find a bunch of these women who are committed to working out and just eating clean. So I started following them and it's been awesome because it's just a little boost every day, just a little reminder, a little motivator to really live well, you know, work out and be fit. And the same principle applies really with natural birth. You know, it is kind of the harder way, you know, the way our society is set up, a medicalized birth is kind of the standard. It's easy to go into the hospital, you get the interventions. That's just kind of the way it goes if you don't fight against the system a little bit. So we need that support. And I can just imagine and envision that this community could be really powerful. Just documenting these women who are walking through a natural pregnancy journey and what that looks like. So I could see women drinking their red raspberry leaf teas or their big beautiful belly shots or taking their cod liver oil, and of course, sharing their birth stories and how they did it and how they were triumphant. And of course, there are gonna be some times where it doesn't go the way we want it to be. It's not gonna be perfect. Even my births didn't go the way I thought they would. But that's okay, because there's grace in there, and it's about doing the best that we can and incorporating these natural and more healthy ways um, as best as we can. So again, be sure to check it out if you are pregnant, want to get pregnant, or you're just a birth junkie. We'll have a link again in the video description below. Okay, here is my food haul on this long counter. My parents are coming in this week, so I got lots of extra food. Uh, starting with lots of frozen fruits, berries, pineapple, 
mango. I thought it'd be yummy in the morning with some yogurt, some oatmeal, that sort of thing. And then lots of veggies. I'm gonna try to make a vegetable lasagna using not noodles, but zucchini or mushrooms or eggplant. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use, but got lots of options here, lots of avocados. Those are my mom's favorite. A huge bag of Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna roast those with some chicken later in the week. Some salad fixings. Lots of grapefruits. I love having a piece of fruit after dinner, after I put the kids down, and so I'm gonna just try for some grapefruits just for something different. Lots of um, nuts, limes, some granola, some gluten-free pretzels, because we're gonna be in the car a lot with my parents, driving to different places, and so these help with long car trips with the kids. Uh, what else we got here? Lots of pasta sauces for the lasagna. Um, some salsa. Some orange juice, I'm gonna make some more gummies. My kids just love them, so we go through them a lot. There is all the beef for the vegetable lasagna. Um, I got some beans. I'm gonna to try to make white bean um, hummus, just for something different. Uh, a buttload of cheese for <laughs> that lasagna. Uh, some yogurts and some butter. And that's pretty much it. I'm also gonna be making some shrimp tacos this week, but I need to go to the fish market to pick that up. And now a word from our sponsor. Take a look at just about any dietary recommendation for pregnant women, and you will see protein as like the number one star player. We need to get a lot in. Uh, in fact, the Brewer's Diet recommends 80 to 120 grams a day. Now let's face it, this can be hard to choke down, especially in that first trimester when you're just not feeling that great. One great source of protein that's really easy to use is Vital Proteins. Their gelatin contains 17 grams of protein per serving. I love making healthy gummy men, jello, and custards with this product, or I would just put in hot tea. I also like their collagen peptides, which can go into cold beverages like smoothies or almond milk and contains 18 grams of protein per serving. Here's a Mama Natural exclusive. Save 20% on Vital Proteins with promo code Mama Natural. <laughs> How about you? What kind of community did you tap into in your pregnancy? How were they helpful? Who were they? Share with me in the comments below.